The by-election to the Erode East Assembly constituency commenced at 7 a.m. today. Erode East Assembly constituency fell vacant due to the death of Congress MLA Tirumahan Ivera. This election is considered important for both DMK and AIADMK factions to show their full potential. Here are the candidates contesting the E-Road polls. The DMK-led alliance has made former Union Minister and Tamil Nadu Congress Committee President E.V.K. Zilangovan, who is also the father of Tirumahan Ivera, to contest the election. Former AIADMK MLA K.S. Tanaris is made to stand against Zilangovan on behalf of the AIADMK-led alliance. Bearing the two major Dravidian parties, Nam Tamilakachi's Menaka Navanidhan and DMDK's Anand are also in the fray. For the first time, Kamal Hassan's Makkal Nidhi Mayam has extended their support to Congress. Kamal Hassan also campaigned for Congress candidate Ilangovan. Apart from the 77 approved candidates, 47 are contesting independently at the E Road East Assembly constituency. The E Road East Assembly was also in news for various controversies. Several incidents of political parties gifting cookers, silver anklets and cash to sway the voters in the constituency have been reported in the local media over the last few days. The election commission in Tamil Nadu filed two cases over the distribution of pressure cookers to voters last week. Initially, both the AADMK factions, one led by Adapadi Palniswami and the other by rebel O. Pani Selvam, announced separate candidates for the election. Later, the faction led by O. Pani Selvam withdrew its candidate from the Erode East by poll and said it would work for the party's official nominee in the election. Amma Makkal Munnetra Kalagam's founder, T.T. Vidhinagaran, also announced that his party will not contest in the Erode East Assembly by poll. He added that they have taken the decision as the election commission did not allow them to use the pressure cooker symbol on which the party had contested previous polls. And also during the campaign, clash broke out between cadres of several political parties. On February 22nd, TIF happened between the Nam Tamilakachi and DMK. The incident took place at Virapal Chatram when Nam Tamilakachi's chief coordinator Seeman came to campaign for party cabinet Menaka Navanidhan. The cadres attacked each other with sticks and stones and as the violence escalated, the police resorted to Lati charge to bring the situation under control. Party workers and a few policemen were injured. Officials said as of 11 a.m. today, over 27.89% voting was recorded. The counting of votes will take place on March 2nd.